Okay, now I'm going to show you how to create an ellipse. Here's our horizon line. Just going to put a point there and a point there on the paper. Okay, so we're getting kind of close to this circle, so it will be a little bit skewed, but um, I will show you how to do it in this bigger space and then I'll show you how to do it in the smaller space just so you can see how it goes smaller as it gets closer to the horizon line. So what I'm doing here is we're going to find X marks the spot to find exactly where the center is. So I'll do that. Okay, here's the X. Now I find the center and I go to that vanishing point to find the center of this line. All right, here's the center of this leading edge. Here's the center of that leading edge, the center of that back edge, and the center of that back edge. Now I have the centers figured out. I'm gonna show you what I'm basically doing. If you were to create a square, what I'm doing in this square is doing X marks the spot. This is if you were looking down at the object. X marks the spot, you're finding the center the center. So if you were to create a circle, it would touch all four of these points in an ideal circle. Now how do I know exactly where those points exist here on the edge? Uh, there are a couple of different ways. What I like to do is find two-thirds the distance from the center. So I go from the center to this point and find the two-thirds. Center, find the two-thirds, find the two-thirds, find the two-thirds. So you have one, two, three sections. The circle goes just outside that second third and touches that point just outside that second third, touches that point just outside that second third, just outside that second third, if this box were perfectly square. But that's what you're basically doing is just outside the second third. So if I'm looking here, I'm looking at this, this leading edge that's right here. I need to find out that I'm going to be touching the circle there, 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 and there. The edge of the circle is going to touch those. So I need to figure out what is two thirds of this distance. That looks roughly close. It might be a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's just a little bit bigger. So just right there. Now I look at this distance, find out the two thirds. That looks about right. Two thirds on this back section. And two thirds on this front section. You can kind of measure it out. Now it will get a little bit smaller as it recedes back. So that gets a little bit smaller. That gets a little bit smaller back there. So the two thirds rule. Another way is to create a diamond. You go from this edge to this edge, this edge to that edge, that edge to that edge, that edge to that edge. And right in the middle between where those exist, which happens to be about where the two thirds is, is where the edge of that circle hits. So that's just another way to show you. So now what you do is you take the circle and you start to create the circle based on these touching points. Remember it sits just outside of that. Now you might be thinking, holy crap, that looks terrible. The reason why it looks terrible is because it is really close to that edge, that circle there. So that would be an ellipse in proportion. I'll draw another one right here in the back just to show you really quick how to do it.
Okay, so there's one circle, there's another circle. Do you see how the ellipse is getting smaller? Eventually it'll get completely flat as it hits the horizon line. But that's how you create an ellipse.